Here we have a city math question. Okay, let's go to the information. The square of area 2 is inscribed in a square of area 3, creating four congruent angles as shown below. What is the ratio of the shorter leg and to the longer leg in the shaded uh, right triangle? So our right triangle over here, uh, this is a shorter leg and this is a longer leg. So because this is called hypotenuse, uh, since it is opposite to uh, right, right angle. Okay, now we have to find the ratio between the shorter leg and uh, longer leg. Okay, so here uh, the area of the square inscribed over here is uh, 2. There is uh, the area of this square is uh, 2 square units. And there is a smaller square. And the area of the bigger square is uh, 3 square units according to the question. Okay, since the area of the bigger square is uh, 3. And the length of each side of the bigger square has to be square root of 3. So square root of 3 and here square root of 3, here square root of 3, square root of 3. So because to get the area of a square, usually we do multiply the uh, two sides. That is a side by side. When I multiply square root of 3 and square root of 3, I am getting the area of the bigger square, uh, 3. So the length of each side of the bigger square root is a square root of 3. And also it is given the area of the square uh, inscribed over here. Uh, is 2. So then the length of uh, each side of uh, the smaller square which is inscribed is uh, square root of 2. So here square root of 2, here square root of 2, here uh, square root of 2. So that when I multiply uh, the two sides as square root of 2 and square root of 2, I am getting the area uh, just 2 as uh, given in the question. And the question says yeah, square of uh, area 2 is inscribed in a square of area 3 creating four congruent triangles. So this triangle, this triangle, this triangle and this triangle. All these four triangles are Congruent triangles. So that is, they must be. Uh, they must have same shape and they must have uh, same size. Uh, okay. Now let me consider the right triangle over here because each uh, triangle is a right triangle because uh, so the angle of the vertex, uh, each vertex of the square is a right angle. Okay. Now let me consider the right triangle over here. So uh, this leg represents a shorter leg and this one represents a longer leg. I assume uh, the length of the shorter leg over here as x. Then what is the length of this segment? It has to be square root of 3, negative x, because the complete length is square root of 3. And if I assume this part is x and the length of for the longer leg of the shaded right triangle is square root of 3, negative x. Then what is the length of the shorter leg of the shorter right, uh, I mean, uh, shaded right triangle? It has to be x, because all the four triangles are congruent triangles. So if x represents uh, the length of uh, shorter leg in one right triangle, the same length graph for the shorter leg in other right triangle too. So now I got the length of the shorter leg uh, as x and the length of the longer leg uh, in the shaded right triangle is a square root of 3 negative x. Now I have to find the ratio between the shorter leg x and uh, the longer leg uh, square root of 3 negative x. For that I need the value of x. So what should I do to get the value of x? Okay, so now let's consider uh, this uh, right triangle, the shaded right triangle over here. We can apply Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem says that the sum of the squares of uh, two legs of a right triangle equals to the square of the hypotenuse. So that is, uh, we have x square positive uh, square root of 3 negative x the whole square equals to square root of 2 the whole square. So I just uh, squared the two legs, shorter legs, uh, longer leg of the shaded right triangle. It has to be and added and uh, the sum of uh, the squares of two legs must be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Okay, so this square root and square will cancel out and we get x square over here, positive. It is in the form of a negative b whole square. We can uh, get the expansion of uh, the a negative b whole square in algebra. That is algebraic identity. So a square, a square means square root of three, the whole square, negative two times a times b. Instead of a, we have square root of three. And instead of b, we have x positive uh, b square. b square means instead of b, we have x, that is x square equals to, we have 2 uh, on the right side. So here, this square root and square will cancel out. So when I combine this x square and x square, I'm getting uh, 2 x square uh, positive. We have 3 over here, negative 2 times uh, square root of 3 x equals to 2. So like uh, we can write uh, the, uh, like actually it is a quadratic equation. So we have to write the quadratic equation in the standard form a x square positive a x positive c equals to 0. So that uh, we can uh, solve for x uh, in the given quadratic equation. So for that I am writing the x square term first and then I am writing x term. At last I am writing this constant of positive 3 equals to 2. So to get the uh, quadratic equation standard form we must have 0 on the right side but here we have 2. So to get rid of these two, I just subtract two from both sides. This positive and negative will cancel out. So I'm getting two x square and negative two times square root of three times x are positive one equals to zero. Now this quadratic equation is in standard form. That is a x square positive b x positive c equals to zero. 
Okay, so we can uh, use the methods uh, to solve the quadratic equation like a uh, factoring or quadratic formula. I don't think uh, this quadratic equation can be solved by factoring. So better we can use quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation because my aim is to get the value of x. Once I get the value of x, uh, I will know the length of the shorter leg and longer leg and I can answer the question that is the ratio between the shorter leg and uh, longer leg. Okay, now let's solve this uh, quadratic equation over here uh, using quadratic formula. For that, uh, let me erase this stuff over here. To solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula, first I have to list out the values of a, b, and c. a is the coefficient of x squared, that is uh, 2, and uh, b is the value of uh, coefficient of x, uh, which is negative 2 times uh, square root of 3, and uh, c is a constant term, which is uh, positive 1. Okay, let me write the quadratic formula, that is negative b, positive or negative, square root of uh, b square negative 4ac over 2a. So I have done the quadratic formula, now I have to plug in the values for a, b, and c into this formula. So here we have negative sign and the value of b is uh, negative 2 times uh, square root of 3, uh, positive or negative. And uh, for b we have to square, that is uh, negative 2 times uh, square root of 3, the whole square, negative 4 times the value of a is 2 and the value of c is uh, 1 over uh, and uh, 2 times the value of a is 2. Uh, x equals to negative times it will become positive 2 times uh, square root of 3, positive or negative square root of, uh, so okay, when I take a uh, square for this negative, uh, so this negative will become positive, because whenever I take even number as exponent uh, uh, for a negative sign, it will become positive, and when I take this uh, square for this 2, it will become 4 times, when I take this uh, square for this square root of 3, it will just become 3, so it becomes 4 times 3, negative, uh, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 1 is uh, just 8, I'm getting 2 times 2 is uh, 4 over here, then I'm getting x equals to 2 times uh, square root of 3, positive or negative, and here, 4 times c is 12, 12 negative 8 will become uh, square root of 4 over 4. Okay, so 2 times uh, square root of 3, positive or negative. So square root of 4 equals to 2 over 4. Okay, now, uh, so in numerator, these two terms are the greatest common divisor 2, so we can factor 2 out, then we get the expression 2 times square root of 3, positive or negative uh, 1 over 4. So 2 uh, goes into 1 times and 2 goes into 4 twice. So I am getting x equals to square root of 3, positive or negative 1 over 2. Okay, now I got two values of x. Okay, now let me erase the stuff and uh, continue the problem. We have x equals to square root of 3, positive or negative 1 over 2. So we can split up this one uh, as two values of x. That is, one is uh, x equals to square root of 3, positive 1 over 2. And uh, the second value of x is uh, square root of 3, negative 1 over 2. So I write uh, this stuff uh, one time for positive sign over here, one time for negative sign over here. Okay, so here we get two values for x. One is square root of 3 positive 1 over 2, other one is square root of 3 negative 1 over 2. So which value do we have to consider? Okay, so here, uh, so if I consider the value of x over here, that is square root of 3 positive 1. So what value do I get for x? So already we know that uh, the approximate value of square root of 3 is a 1.732 positive 1 over 2. So then x equals I'm getting 2.732 over 2. So when I divide uh, 2.732 over 2, I'm getting 1. Uh, 366. We have assumed x as the length of the short leg. So here we got uh, the length of the short leg as uh, 1.366. Okay, and also when x represents the length of the short leg, uh, this square root of 3 negative x represents the length of the longer leg. Okay, when x is equal to 1.366, let's evaluate uh, the value of square root of 3 negative x, which is uh, uh, the approximate value of square root of 3 is uh, 1.732, and uh, the value of x is 1.366. And when I subtract 1.366 uh, from 1.732, I am getting um, 0 0.366, 0 0.366. So uh, in the picture, it's very clear, uh, this is a longer leg and this is a shorter leg. When x is uh, 1.366, uh, that is the length of the shorter leg, then the length of the longer leg is 0 0.366. So that's what we get over here. But logically, uh, it's not correct because uh, the length of the longer leg has to be greater than the length of the shorter leg. So the first value of x cannot be accepted because uh, it's almost against the logic what we have over here in the figure. Okay, now uh, so let's let me erase the stuff. So we can consider the second value of x. So let's reject uh, this value of x. So when you consider uh, the second value of x as a square root of three, the approximate value is one point seven three two negative one over 2, so x equals to when I subtract 1 from this value, I'm getting 0 0.732 over 2. So when I divide 0 0.732 over 2, I'm getting 0 0.366. Okay, so when x is 0 0.366, and the length of the longer leg will definitely be greater than this one. So because we subtract this 0 
366 uh, from uh, 1.732, which is approximately LF squared of 3. So definitely the value over here will be greater than the length of the shorter leg 0 0.366. So the second value of x uh, can be accepted. So the value of uh, x is square root of 3, negative 1 over 2. That is the length of the shorter leg is square root of 3, negative uh, 1 over 2. Okay, now let's find the length of the longer leg, which is square root of 3, negative x. So square root of 3, negative x equals to square root of 3, negative. So now I can plug in this uh, square root of uh, 3, negative 1 over 2 uh, for this x over here. Then I'm getting square root of 3, negative 1 over 2. Okay, so now I have to do a uh, subtraction between uh, the stuff over here and a fraction over here. So now what I need to do is uh, to do this subtraction, I have to multiply this quantity by the denominator of the fraction over here. So once I've done with this multiplication, I can take this uh, denominator as a common denominator. So when I multiply the square root of 3 by these two, I'm getting 2 times uh, square root of 3, negative. So this negative sign is applicable for the complete stuff over here, that is square root of 3, negative 1. So since I've multiplied this quantity by 2, I can take this 2 as a common denominator. Now 2 times square root of 3. Now we can distribute this negative sign to this and this. I'm getting a uh, negative square root of 3. Negative times it will become uh, positive 1 over 2. So when I simplify this one, 2 square root of 3, negative square root of 3 will become square root of 3, positive 1 over 2. So now I got the length of the longer leg, which is uh, square root of 3, positive 1. Already I got the length of the shorter leg, square root of 3, negative 1 over 2. So now, according to the question, I have to find the ratio uh, between the shorter leg and longer leg. Okay, let me do it. Okay, now let's find the ratio between the length of the shorter leg and length of the uh, longer leg. That is uh, x over uh, square root of uh, square root of three negative x, which is uh, square root of three negative one over two divided by square root of three positive one over two. So now uh, let me write this fraction as it is. It is square root of ne uh, three negative one over two, and I change this division as multiplication. Then I have to take reciprocal for this one. That is two over square root of three positive one. So this two two will cancel out. Then uh, that is 2 goes into 1 times, 2 goes into 1 times. When I multiply this numerator, by this numerator, I'm getting square root of 3, negative 1. So when I multiply these two quantities, I'm getting square root of 3, positive 1. Okay, so here in denominator, we have an irrational number square root of 3. Usually when we give a final answer to a math problem, uh, we give denominator, we give the final answer uh, with a rational denominator. So for that, we have to rationalize uh, this denominator over here. So for that, I have to multiply both numerator and denominator of this fraction by the Conjugate of this denominator. What is a conjugate? So it's very simple. I just have to change the sign in the middle. Already we have positive sign over here. If I change this positive as negative, it will become uh, it's conjugated. That is square root of three negative one. Okay, let me write the given fraction. I mean the fraction over here as it is. That is square root of three negative one over square root of three positive one. Okay, now I multiply both numerator and denominator by by the conjugate of this uh, square root of three positive one. That is square root of three negative one over square root of three negative one. So when I multiply square root of 3, negative 1, square root of 3, negative 1, I'm getting square root of 3, negative 1, the whole square. So here it is in the form of A positive B and A negative B. So whenever we multiply uh, two binomials in the form A positive B and A negative B, it is equal to A square, negative B square. That is uh, one of the important identities in algebra. But in, uh, instead of A, we have square root of 3. So we can take square root of 3, the whole square, negative. Instead of B, we have one square. And it is in the form of A negative B, the whole square. Okay, now uh, let me erase the stuff and continue this. This is the last step uh, we have had in our previous working. Okay, as I said, it's in the form of a negative b the whole square. So it can be uh, expanded uh, using the a negative b the whole square identity in algebra. So first we have to write a square negative 2 times a b. Instead of a, we have square root of 3. Instead of b, we have 1. So 2 times uh, square root of 3 times 1. Uh, positive b square. Instead of b, we have 1. So 1 square over so here uh, this square and uh, square root will cancel out and we just get 3. And the value of 1 square is just 1. And uh, so here this square root and uh, square will cancel. I'm getting 3, negative 2 times uh, square root, 2 times square root of 3 times 1 is 2 times square root of 3, positive 1 over 3, negative 1 is 2. And when I combine this 3 and positive 1, I'll be getting 4, negative 2 times uh, square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so here in the expression in numerator, uh, we have uh, the greatest uh, for this 4 and uh, 2 times square root of 3, we have the greatest common divisor 2. So we can factor 2 out uh, from the expression in numerator over here. So when I factor 2 out, I'm getting 2 negative square root of 3 inside the parenthesis uh, over 2. So this 2, 2 will cancel out. So finally, I'm getting 2 negative square root of 3. So the ratio of the shorter leg to the longer leg in this shaded uh, right triangle is 2 negative square root of 3. We find uh, these uh, 2 negative square root of 3 in option C. So the correct answer choice for this question is option C.